Japan. This is your personalized run safe analysis on October 31st, 2013, version 1. This is your first assessment. Your posture is good from the front and the back. However, from the side, you do have a little more arch at the lower back. This might be due to tight hip flexors. We call this lordosis. Now let's take a look at your running. We're looking below the knees at your foot and ankle mechanics. You've had a couple of stress fractures at the right foot. Let's slow it down a little bit. As your foot hits the treadmill, you can see the inner part of the foot roll forward, which we call pronation. It seems that especially on the left side, the footwear is not necessarily able to control the rapid motion of the foot rolling inwards. You also see a little more of the outside part of the right foot compared to the left. In this freeze frame, you see the foot is turned in with a higher angle of the ankle turning outwards. If you have other footwear, you can see how it supports your foot and if it reduces any pronation at the ankle. Let's observe your running from the waist down. We have a line indicating the level of the pelvis with the two dots identifying the sacroiliac joints. You're doing well keeping the pelvis fairly level as you run. The left leg is slightly turned in which often represents some imbalances at the hip. Your knee alignment is looking good with your knees pointing forward as you run. From the back, you have a strong running stride. You have good rotation at the shoulders and upper torso and free relaxed arm swing. You don't have very much vertical displacement and you have what appears to be a strong running form from the back, period. Now let's observe the running stride from the side. You're a heel striker and you toe off well. You've got a good strong kick. Let's look at full body running from the side. Again, you have strong running form. However, as you extend the leg, you can notice the thigh does not really extend far beyond your torso. Again, this is most likely representing some tight hip flexors. As you hit the ground, your foot lands a little bit in front of your pelvis, suggesting that your stride is a bit longer than expected. Turning over quickly with your feet will shorten your stride length. Your cadence is a bit low at 168. By increasing your stride rate to approximately 180 beats per minute, you will shorten your stride and decrease the risk for overloading the forefoot. On the step down test, as you stand on the left side, you can see that your knee rotates inwards suggesting that the hip strength on your left side is a bit weak. In comparison, the right leg appears stronger as you are able to keep your pelvis level. Strengthening your left-sided hip muscles will be of benefit. In summary, to reduce injuries and improve performance, consider mild stability shoes or inserts, stretch your hip flexors, Shorten your stride by increasing your cadence to 180 and strengthen your hip muscles. Check out your specific exercise.